BC Lions last week. Those are the numbers that Calvillo put up, 319 yards passing. And he got three touchdowns from the newcomer Lawrence Phillips along the ground. 21 of 28, not too shabby for your first game out of the gate for Anthony Calvillo. Looks like he's throwing with even more confidence than he did last year. And he had a pretty good year last year. Taking over 60% of his passes. Likes to go with a five-receiver set. Cavillo can't find anyone open. Takes off himself. And he'll be short of the first down by a little bit, looking for Ben Cahoon, who is Montreal's only returning receiver. Corey Grant comes over from Hamilton. There are two rookies in there as well. Running back Lawrence Phillips is the talk of the league after taking Mike Pringle's job. And up front, Brian Chu, an all-Canadian, anchors the offensive line. All the talk last couple weeks about Lawrence Phillips, who's the starting running back right now, and Mike Pringle, who is on the bench as the designated import for the Montreal West. Two yards shy, and Phillips will have the first down with ease out across the 20. He wears number 11. Sixth overall, chosen by the Rams in 1996. Yeah, that's when he broke in, the sixth overall pick. That year had just over 600 yards rushing. That's what he did in game one versus the BC Lions. There's no question that Lawrence Phillips can play. It's whether or not he can empty out the baggage that he carries along with him. Picked up eight yards in his first carry here tonight. Cavill back to throw. Nice play action fake. And he's got Thomas Haskins at the 40-yard line. Well, it should be an all-star cast in the Argo defense when you have Johnny Scott and Joe Mumford up front. They have combined for over 150 sacks in their career. And then, of course, the veteran Michael O'Shea in the middle. In the secondary, Mike Fletcher comes over from the BC Lions to start at free safety. And Orlando Steinauer and Adrian Smith on the corners. Michael O'Shea calls all the defenses for the Toronto Argonauts. Gary Echeverry just allows him, the captain, to make the call. And he says, that's Mr. Echeverry, that O'Shea is the key to success for the Argonauts defense. Phillips has nowhere to go this time. Roger Dunbrack was there and waiting. You know, and through this Lawrence Phillips controversy, uh, and the, the Alouettes, should make it clear, are not calling it a controversy. It's very simple for them. Lawrence Phillips won the job in training camp, even though he walked out twice from Mike Pringle, and so there is no controversy. He is the starter, and Don Matthews is convinced he's a better player. Well, he's younger than Mike Pringle by a couple of years from the shotgun after a loss of three on second and 13. Little screen. This is Lawrence Phillips when he gets his hands on the ball. He can do magic things, no doubt about that. He'll have enough for the first down. Wrapped up by Martavius Houston. So yeah, they'll try and get him the ball as often as they can. You know, when you look through his career, he had some problems with the Rams, off-field stuff. They let go of him. Same thing in Miami, San Francisco. Not a whole lot different. He was eight games there in 99. Then went over to NFL Europe and was pretty much kept his nose clean in Barcelona for the entire season. Player of the year over there, right? Yeah. Five receivers set. The snap gets by Calvillo. Dunbrack is there again, can't make the tackle, Cavillo still standing, fires the long one, Cahoon makes the catch, no he doesn't, had it in his hands and he dropped it. Clifford Ivory was with Cahoon all the way and what a week he had in week one, he should have had that one too. Well, first of all, it's really amazing that Anthony Calvillo, after this problem on the snap from center from Brian Chu, elects to try and make a play out of this. Most quarterbacks pick that thing up and throw it into row seven. Because this is just get out of this one without too much.